Hello, welcome to another episode of BS with Ben. Yes, I said build stuff, not the other BS. What we're going to cover today is another forming tool or an anvil that you can 3D print so you can start forming this. And it hooks directly to your workbench. Super handy. Don't forget to hit subscribe, like the video, and leave any comments that you have below. So one thing that we end up doing a lot in foam is preforming things and getting a little bit of a curve in there. And there are a couple ways that you can do that. One is with a heat gun, which works really well, and then use your knee or something to, to move it around, to kind of shape it around. A lot of people will use a ball. A little while ago, I came up with this little guy. Now, what this guy does is basically you can take a, a clamp, clamp it down to the table, and you can form stuff around the outside of this. And it works pretty good, but there's some times that you want to kind of get underneath this and you really can't. The other day I was working and I wanted to form something and I just used the corner of my bench. And I had that aha moment. Make a ball with a cutout that you can hook onto the corner of your bench. And then you have an awesome forming tool that allows you to do undercuts and everything like that. Here, let me show you. All right, so you can see here the foam anvil, the original one I made. It's pretty good. Uh, this one's changed a little bit than the one I just showed you in the sense that it's got some screw holes that you can screw it down to a bench if you really need to. Now that's good. This one's pretty handy and you can use this little small area and some of this taper and get some pretty interesting curves. However, like I said, there were some problems with it in the sense that you can't really do an undercut. So what I did is I modeled up a 3D sphere and I ended up cutting it in two parts. You can see the lower part and the upper part. And that is purely to make it so that it is 3D printable really easy. What I've done is thrown a couple of screw holes or three screw holes into it uh, to the two corners and then through the top. And it's really just as simple as screwing this guy down and start using it. Here are the two halves once it has been printed out. And what I've done here is you notice a couple little holes. And those are three millimeter holes because they fit three millimeter filament just like this. And the reason why we have those two holes is so we have some alignments, some alignment pins. We're going to coat this guy with some CA glue and we're going to link these two pieces together. Go to line, just grab those two pins, come in here and it's going to snap together. It doesn't always align perfectly so sometimes you got to give it a little bit of a, a press just to get it to the spot where you want it to be. Now one thing that you could do is you get some sandpaper and get rid of that little edge what I did on here, cleaned up the edge and everything. So now I've got two, I've got a couple of corners on my workbench that we can use. Let's screw this thing down and start using it. And there you go. This is pretty simple. It's, it is literally as simple as that. You make the ball and you screw it down. You can use this guy if you don't have a corner of a bench to, to use and the links that you need will be right down below. But here, I want to show you guys a couple things. One is, is that you don't necessarily have to have a heat gun to heat form. And this piece was formed without any heat. And these are the pieces to the Knights Templar helmet. The next one, the cone heads of the Knights Templar. The last one I showed you was a flat head. This is going to be the cone head version. But Basically, come over to that ball. Start working your foam over the top of that. And you can see, you start preforming things quite easily. Alternately, and it always helps to add a little bit of heat. Go over top of these guys like this. This also helps seal the foam and close up all the pores. It's definitely to your advantage when you go to finish or paint these things. And you see we got that guy formed out there fairly well. Today's episode, short and sweet, what it really came down to is how to make one of these guys. You will find the link for that at Thingiverse and you will find it down below. So there you go, pretty simple. It's nothing more than a 3D print that you can use for an anvil. You can also use this guy here. Links to both of them are going to be down below. 
and uh, yeah, hopefully that's helped you out. And these will definitely help you out in the next episode when we start covering the Knights Templar Helm. Hey, if you can do me one small favor, and that would be to share this video on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, anywhere that you think that there might be a cosplayer that you know that would like a video like this. Definitely help me up my subscriber count and watch count, and that also helps me make more of these videos.